would a world be like without competition, without constant rivalry between groups? Well, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it definitely would not have advanced this far. Competition is something that allows, some. I guess it's something that motivates groups to achieve more or go forward or do something faster or do something that's bigger and better. And so a world without competition is basically a world without motivation sometimes. But <clears throat> I want to talk about competition more in a more close sense, like something that's more pertaining to students here on campus at Stony Brook. So why is this always competition? In like universities and everything for everything sports education academics everything it's just always someone that's better or higher up there because we have so many tests and that's what determines how well we do or how well we're doing and I don't like tests I don't like exams and I don't think they're a good assessment of how you're doing as a person or, or in a specific area Test, the method of test taking itself is just an art where a person, if good at it, does does good in it. So basically, when they say good test takers, they they say you pr you're a good test taker. That means you're good in that art of test taking. But how, just doing well on a test doesn't mean that you really know that subject or that whatever it is that you're learning doesn't mean that you know that very well. There's there's people that do make careless mistakes, but they probably do know the, the material well throughout, well versed, or well versed in the material, and they make silly mistakes. So just because a person makes silly mistakes, should they be penalized in, a, in such great of a manner? Because the, they have the grading week here where the answer, well, well 90% of the points depend on the answer, and little or none of the points depend on the world. Well, that's basically how everything has become nowadays at Stony Brook. We care about exam grades more than we care about actually knowing if we learn the subject. Here on campus, what a lot of students usually do, sometimes what I do, is to do well on a subject. And because I know I have a test in it, I would look at the practice test and I would try to master, I would take, I would try to master the exams. I would try to learn from the exams more than I learned actually in class. And that's like, you know, by taking the exam and learning from my mistakes. And that shows that that sometimes you're not learning so much through through the actual class in itself. You're learning more from getting questions wrong on a test and then retaking the test or taking different tests or just practicing tests. And that that makes me a better test taker, but it doesn't make me well versed in that subject. So being a Doing well in tests doesn't necessarily mean that you're doing well, well in that, that you know that subject better than everyone else or people that got scored lower than you. I disagree. And same thing with the SATs and many of the exams that we have. I think taking tests is a more inferior way of testing the knowledge of uh, people. And it'd be great if someone did something about it.